Hey, you guys, it's Taisha Bradley, celebrity publicist, and I have popped up on you with another live, and you know that it's going to be great. Today, I'm going to be answering a question from Nikki in my Facebook group, I Need a Publicist with Taisha Bradley in May. So if you're not a member, go ahead over and join. But Nikki is a family YouTuber, and she is interested in learning more about how to get her and her family featured on television talk shows. So we're going to talk about that. So you definitely want to grab a pen, grab a paper, share this, tell a friend. You have about 15 seconds and we're going to get started. Grab something to take those with. All right, we are back. Thank you so much for joining. Please share this with someone who needs to see it. We're gonna be talking about how to get on talk shows. It is a question that people ask me a lot. I'm one of our group members in the I Need a Publicist with Taisha Bradley and May group asked this question. So I'm going to give the question to you. All right, so the question comes from Nikki and Nikki says, I'm a family YouTuber and I'm looking to get media attention to help grow our audience. We recently did a funny kid Focus parody of the play Hamilton. Our storyline in this video is based around books, so I want to pitch it for coverage in April where there's World Book Day happening. Thanks to your webinar the other day, I plugged into National Today and found this out. Go to nationaltoday.com, you guys. I told you, I'll give you lots of ideas. Um, any advice on how to find national media contacts who book talent on shows like Fallon, Ellen, in the Today Show? So thank you so much, Nikki, for asking this question. I do get this question asked a lot. Um, thank you for your patience for allowing me to um, go live and answer these questions for lots of people. So I'm going to give you information today, you guys, on how to do that. So grab a pen and paper and take notes because, you know, I give you websites and all these great things. And again, share this video um, for those who want to see it. So I'm going to be screen sharing today. You know, I like to show you guys what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, you're just joining in. I'm going to, uh, let's see, let you see next question. All right. So the main question is, any advice on how to share national media contacts who book show talent onto shows like Ellen, Ellen, and the Today Show? All right. Awesome. So give me one second, you guys. I want to make sure that you I am seeing that you are seeing what I'm seeing. So I have my handy phone here to see myself. <laughs> of course, there's a definite lag. So if you can see my uh my presentation, let me know. I think you just see me right now, but listen, I'm gonna get this this thing down in a minute, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> All right, thanks for the hearts. Go ahead and comment and let me know who's here. All right. Let's see, can you guys see that? I think that's kind of small. Nope. Maybe that's good enough. If you guys can't see that, then just let me know and we'll go ahead and uh, make that bigger. All right. So any advice on how to find a national media contact to book talent on shows like Fallon Ellen in the Today Show? So the first thing that I want to talk to you about when you are looking to be on national media, particularly talk shows, is one thing we need to super duper keep in mind is authenticity, okay? So don't try to inflate your story or spin falsehoods into it. I know you guys don't do that, but also don't try to be too pushy or your name may be flagged in the wrong way. And I say that because um, it's kind of hard to uh, be in character for a very long time. And when you're on talk shows, there's a very long, you know, kind of auditioning and filtering process. And they want to see that your personality is genuine and that it comes across as genuine. So be your authentic self. So if you are nervous, be nervous. If you are quirky, be quirky. OK, <laughs> just be yourself. So authenticity is the very first thing. Um, that they are looking for 
Um, so keep that in mind. Think about what that personality is. Think of what your authenticity is. OK, so if you um, are a character, you know, you still want to be yourself um, when you are presenting yourself there and not necessarily presenting in that character. So the next thing I want you to know that you should probably have is a sizzle reel. And a sizzle reel is a short three minute max video and it presents you as an attractive person um, in your authentic self um, as an expert in your field. And so you can reach other people's hearts and minds as well. It's a great way to showcase your authenticity. So if you um, have video clips of yourself um, doing anything. Uh, so Nikki, for instance, you know, I know that you have this YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure that you have a sizzle reel. You know, you take small clips of the best of your show, um, of maybe you speaking, being out in the community, being your authentic self and putting that into a sizzle reel. Cause very often they will be asking for something like that from you. So keep that in mind, you guys, authenticity and the way that you showcase that authenticity in the best way is through sending in a sizzle reel. So then, and um, Nikki, I know that you said that you got some information from some other people you're kind of asking around and they said that you might want to start local. And I definitely agree in uh, starting local. And starting local can mean different things for different people. Um, when I say start local, um, and I put under here, I'm amazed at the number of people who want to get on the top. TV talk shows, but have never been a guest even on local TV or had a single TV appearance at all. OK, so if you're on YouTube, you have a channel, you're very used to being in, you know, in front of people and in front of audiences and know how it's worked. But some people have never been in on TV before. So starting local helps you get your feet wet in that area. OK, starting local. Um, this is like trying to run a marathon without walking a mile. Okay. You can't start way at the top until you start. And then also remember we talked about the authentic authenticity just now. Um, when you start local, you build that credibility with local media. Um, and you know, it helps larger media see that I put that prove you're not a nutcase. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes people can appear one way. Um, and then, you know, appear a different way on TV. And so what they have to do is make sure that, you know, that you are on brand and that you're not just a random person who wants to, you know, kind of be on TV. So starting local allows you to build up a kind of portfolio and a, can also help with your reel and also allows people um, to know that you are qualified to be speaking. All right. So start local. So we talked about, um, and these are lots of shows that people ask me about, Ellen and the Today Show and the Tonight Show. Give me a second, you guys. I'm feeling like, let me see. I'm looking at this. And I'm feeling like you guys aren't quite seeing my screen like you should. Give me one second. And this is like impromptu, so you guys got to listen. Forgive me. Look at it. Let's see. I'm gonna close this. Give me, give me one second so I can make sure that you guys are have the best view. All right, let's do this. All right, somebody comment and let me know if you can see like the full screen share now. Hey, Natia. Hi, Miriam. Thank you guys for joining in. Let's see. Come on, tech. All right, we're just going to keep moving. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is unsolicited ideas and content. Unsolicited, unsolicited ideas and content. So have an amazing idea for a new show or a story. Unfortunately, many networks are unable to accept unsolicited creative ideas or content. And unfortunately, that goes for a lot of the major talk shows. They don't select, um, accept unsolicited ideas or content. But know that if you just randomly cold pitch a network or a show, um, you can relate with your rights to that material. So you want to hold on to it until you get a formal invitation to share your ideas or even possibly get an agent. So don't just openly share your ideas and your content for a show or a concept or a story because it can decide not to use it and um, keep that. Let's talk Ellen. 
We're going to talk Ellen. We're going to talk the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. And we're going to talk the Today Show. So I'm going to stop the stream for a second. And let's start with the Today Show. All right. So most places... Um, you find can, um, I'm sorry, most major TV shows, right? You can go to their website. So today.com. So I've gone to here where you can see, oops, maybe you can't see. Share my screen. So you can see that I'm on the Today Show website. All right. Awesome. So I'm here at today.com. But what I did is I went to find the contact us page. So usually there's an uh, info or contact us page. Um, so here I'm on the contact us page and you'll see it says contact us. Send today your questions, your comments. Um, and so you can send an email with a question or comment, include your name and a short message. For press inquiries, maybe you want to send a press release or you want to reach out to someone to find out um, what you where you can send your information. There's an email address here, NBC News Media Relations at NBCUNI.com. There's also a phone number. So you can also call and find out the best ways to, to um, try to submit a story idea. Um, and so if you read down here, they have like some information about coming to see the show, um, about past guests, previous guests. And I would take a look at the contact us page and see everything that they have that can possibly get you um, to the people that you want to. They even have a mailing address where you can um, send snail mail as well. So if you're interested in being on today's show, I guide you to this contact us page and look at this information and check out some of these emails and phone numbers to get further information. But of course, the Today Show is one of those shows that don't openly accept um, unsolicited um, ideas or shows. All righty. So the next one I'm going to talk about is ABC. Let me share this with you. Share screen. All right. So we talked about, um, I can't remember which, which show it was. That was ABC. Um, but when you are looking to pitch like talk shows, um, you will not need to necessarily always go directly to the show page, but the network page, right? So a lot of our shows, you know, they're from this network. So I'm on the abc.com page and I'm actually on abc.com forward slash casting. So I went to abc.com and I look for something like casting or be on the show or contact us. If you're looking for um, something like that. So I found the casting page. And so here on the casting, it says you can apply to be on your favorite ABC show. They have the $100,000 Pyramid, The Bachelorette. Um, there's a new show coming out with Dating for Seniors. Oh, that should be cute. Um, a game, Card Sharks, The Great American Baking Show, The Great Christmas Light Fight, Kids Say the Darndest Things. Like a lot of the shows, some of the shows that they already have, some of them are new. Uh, even Shark Tank is on here. You know, if you want to be interested in Shark Tank, you can click on these links to go to that. So why am I sending you the casting page? Because the casting page is... Um, definitely an end for you to get in. So if you may not be able to get your story in or get your idea in, it's possible that you can apply um, to be auditioned or attend an open call for a show. That gets you in their system, that gets you in their database, that gets you in the door, okay? So a lot of times to get into these big networks, we're trying to get a foot in the door. So consider, you know, trying to go in for casting, find a casting call or show that would be a good fit for you or your business or your brand and apply for it. Um, you may be brought in, you know, for a casting call. You may receive a phone call. It gets your foot in the door. And I think that's a very good way to start is by checking out casting. Okay. Checking out casting to be on actual shows to get that relationship and get your foot in the door. You could possibly, you know, meet a, a network producer who can keep you in mind for something in the future. So we are going to move on over to NBC um, because one of the questions was about the Tonight Show. So let me share that with you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you the page that allows you to submit to the Tonight Show. So again, the Tonight Show is one of those other shows um, where typically the guests are celebrities and they do their own casting. However, they do have like a casting page. Um, and they also have different shows with um, opportunities to submit to the show. So here for Jimmy Fallon, they have how to submit to the Tonight Show. 
And so while it may not be exactly what you're looking for, again, it gives you that opportunity to get your foot into the door, to get your name on the rosters. So if you see here for uh, the Jimmy, the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, um, these are the things that you can submit to. Um, screen grabs, bad signs, um, do not read, the do not game, kid letters, and the hashtags, which are all popular things that they do on the show. And if you'll notice, they have email addresses that you can send those things to. So... I don't think, you know, it will be a waste of time if that you have a bad sign or you see a bad sign or there's something related to your business that you could send that in. Um, also, the same thing with do not read. Like, how could you use these to position yourself to be featured, to get on the radar, to get your foot in the door, you know, to be in front of producers? So this is the Tonight Show um, website. And this is how you can submit different things to them to put in the door because they do not take unsolicited ideas. All right. And so then last but not least, because this is the one that people ask about the entire most is Ellen Show. All right. And Ellen. Okay. So people ask me about Ellen the entire most. How do you get on the Ellen show? So Ellen has, um, from her main Ellen website, um, you can click right to the show or be a part of the show. I don't remember exactly what it says, but it's something like that. But once you go to that page, you'll see this page and it says right to the show. And it has these different categories, life changing kids, funny videos, funny photos, animals, talent ideas, and games. And I would say for like TV talk shows, like the Steve Harvey show, they used to have a page like this, where they're looking for um, ideas for shows. Um, well, they have the ideas. They're looking for people for the ideas. So for this one, are you a frontline worker who wants to go to the Super Bowl? You know, if it's that, if that's you or someone you know, you can definitely submit to that. Is it exactly what you were trying to do to get on the show? No, but again, it gets your foot in the door. It gets you in front of the radar of the producers. Um, you have the opportunity to send videos. Um, does your small business need help? Some of these small businesses need help, you know, and it could be you. Can you apply um, to see what this is? Are you an entrepreneur whose small business has been affected by the pandemic? Who hasn't? Tell us about you or your business and what you need to stay afloat. While you shouldn't go in and just use this as an opportunity to pitch your business, you know, definitely it's an opportunity to pitch your business to get on the radar. Um, possibly they want to do a deeper story. You could possibly be a guest, you know, and, and, you brought out a big check or you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. This is a place that you go to nominate yourself or other people um, to these uh, talk show websites. So you can nominate someone nice, um, share your favorite small business with us, send photos. Do you want to reunite with family and friends? So there's so many ideas um, where you can send in videos or a photo or write in um, to be on the show. So these um, change frequently as they're looking to cast people and bring people on the shows. So you should definitely come in here and check these. So Nikki, um, for you, I would go to kids and just click kids and see what they have for kids, you know, um, since you have the children's YouTube channel. So send us a video of your kids magicians. Do any of your kids do magic? Okay. Send in a video, possibly be on Ellen. Send us photos for Ellen Rate My Baby. Let's see. Looking for amazing kid inventors. Is your child an inventor? Submit. Uh, let's see. They have baby gender reveal fails. Kids stuck in places they shouldn't be. <laughs> um, back to school fails. You know, Ellen likes a lot of comedy. She loves comedy and kids. Okay. Comedy, kids, and human relation stories. Uh, that's like Ellen's jam to get on our show. Um, send us your videos of your kids as dirty little liars. Uh, why I don't have kids. Send us your talented kid videos. Send us funny kids drawings <laughs> or just notes. So um, yeah, send us your favorite TikTok videos. Nikki, I know you guys are really big on TikTok. Send all your TikTok videos, you know? Um, and so that puts you on the radar for the show and then the producers. Now I will say that um, millions and millions and millions of people want to be on the Ellen show and love, you know, trying to do their best to get on there. Um, and I know that the way that a lot of people um, get on Ellen is through the viral videos, it's through viral videos. And so while they don't do like outside open casting, she has a whole team that does nothing but scour the internet. Um, it's our social media for viral videos and, you know, funny things. So make sure that you're consistently posting on social media 
Um, make sure that you're using great hashtags um, for people to see or people to, to follow. Um, I haven't found that it's super effective to tell other people to tag, you know, Ellen in this post or tag. I haven't seen where that's really worked for people, but hey, if it doesn't hurt, <laughs> you know, go ahead and feel free to do that. But definitely be um, active on social media and make sure that you have content for these producers um, to be looking for. But again, you know, kind of the casting and submitting for the shows are the best ways to do that, you know, to get that foot in the door, to be put on their radar. Um, there are a lot of stories about people who have gotten callbacks from the Ellen show and have gone through a series of scheduled and unscheduled um, kind of like interviews and impromptu calls and, you know, months and months. And they're still not brought all the way onto the show. So it's something that you cannot necessarily get your hopes up. Like when you're actually sitting on the couch, that's when it's really happening because it could change at any time. And it's not because your content is not good. It's just so many people are competing for those those same spots. And there's only so many shows and so many air times. Um, so I suggest continuing um, to, you know, kind of pursue that, but definitely don't, um, don't give up. And then another way that I recommend um, getting um, on talk shows, and I'm going to share my screen, and you guys are probably so sick of me talking about this, but listen, I'm going to keep talking because I'm trying to let you guys know that um, Harrow, help a reporter out. Let me get your this up for you. Helpareporter.com is fantastic for actually finding opportunities for TV shows. Um, I was able to interview um, the Angela Bassett um, for Amazon TV from um, a query that I found on, on Harold, Help a Reporter. And so I'm sorry that's behind my name, but it's helpareporter.com. And I've seen um, reporters, I'm sorry, not reporters, but producers um, from, not Ellen on there, but I've seen them for Dr. Oz. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Dr. Phil on there. Just lots of different talk shows are on Harrow looking for guests and for people. Typically, you won't see it say ABC, NBC, Dr. Oz show because then people will really be clamoring to it and, you know, sending things that are non relevant. But remember when I told you on um, on Harrow, when you see anonymous. Oftentimes, that is one of those huge outlets. You know, they're just anonymous because they don't want everybody to know that it's something huge, you know, a big opportunity. And then people just apply for it who, you know, have no business applying for it. So definitely get a free account at helpareporter.com and you'll receive emails three times a day in the industries that you choose and scour those and look for national television shows, seeks guests, you know, for this or that. And if it says anonymous, you know, that's a great opportunity because it's usually one of those large ones. So that is also a way to find uh, great media opportunities is using helpareporter.com. And then again, going to the websites and looking at those casting call pages and seeing what's available, seeing who's asking for pictures, who's asking for videos is another great way to do that. Um, and then there are also standalone websites or businesses that um, help out with casting calls as well. Um, one of my favorites is Misty Cart Pictures. Uh, let me see if I can get this up for you. Let's see. You can see what kind of things they offer for there. I have an account on there. Uh, let me share that with you. And this is just a little quick and dirty you know, informal, me trying to show you guys these things. Um, so yeah, Misty Cart Pictures. And then Now Casting. So if you click on Now Casting, and there are a lot of these casting pages. Some are free, some charge you. Um, all you need, need to make an next. Uh, they have adults and family. So let's see, Nikki, let's see what they have for family. You guys are super entertaining. I'm a sub um, as well on your youtube channel um and if you guys want to know you can look for loose seeds l-o-o-s-e-s-e-e-b-s -E -E that's how it is sorry um loose seeds is the name um of their family business and they're on youtube and i follow them on tiktok so very fantastic thing so let's click family i think we're there um so they have a game holy moly looks like it's coming some kind of golf game talking about relocation uh, magic moment, wipe out, Dr. 90210. There's an opportunity to audition your family for Double Dare. <laughs> Great exposure and fun. 
uh, let's see, ABC's Don't, The Big Fibs Kids. So there's just a variety of different things that you could log into um, to audition for or some kind of casting. So I'm going to pick one so we can see what looks what it looks like inside. Um, let's see. What's a good one? The Big Fib Kids. I don't know what that is. Oh, check this out. OK, so this is an improv show. I think I looked at this. So the big fifth improv. So now casting, are you great at playing pretend? Um, it's a new game show for kids based on a popular podcast looking for incredible improvers. Nikki, your kids would be great for this. Um, so yeah, they have to convince kid contestants they're a real life expert in a specific area. Oh yeah, you guys, this you could totally do this. Um, so yeah, let's see. Legal residents filming approximately one or two days a week in New York. They have a separate website. And then this is that you would fill out for it. And each one, um, each form is different. Sometimes they'll want you to upload a sizzle reel. And remember I talked about having that. Um, but yeah, oh, looks like casting is wrapped for this season. But to be considered for the next season, you can still fill out this form. So again, you don't always have to be a guest on a major network show to be on the show. And so again, it's a great workaround and a way to get your foot in the door and to um, you know get on the radar of these producers. Once you're on their radar, you get to go. Um, but again, because so many of these huge shows don't accept unsolicited stories and ideas, you know there has to be a workaround. So those are my suggestions for doing that. Checking out helpareporter.com. I'm also going to the network pages and looking at the contact us page and looking at the casting call or audition pages. And then also finding um, audition websites like Mystic Art Pictures and looking at casting calls that are a good fit for you or your family um, so that you can audition for them. And if you can get on the show, then you're in with the networks and you know, you're know you on their radar for possible other work. So I hope that was super helpful for you guys. And if anyone else has a question, please go ahead and ask me in the group. It would be great if you could use hashtag AskTaisha so that um, I can search that hashtag and find any kind of questions. Um, and if it's a question that I can just answer really quick in the group, I'll do so. But if it's a frequently asked question or I feel like it's something that um, lots of people you know, in the group and otherwise um, would benefit from information with, then I will go live and talk about it some more. So I hope that is helpful for you. If you um, put in for any kind of castings or any kind of auditions or submit to some shows, let me know. And if you get callbacks, for sure, definitely let me know, okay? You guys, I hope you have a good evening, and thank you so much for listening and watching. Bye!